Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the Online Gardener channel. I cannot wait to bring this one to you all because I'm going to be showing you how to build raised beds without any tools at all, just using your hands. Now, I'm, the reason why I'm so excited about this is because I think this will solve so many problems when it comes to our younger audience and our older audience. We get emails all the time saying, hey Luke, you know, I love what you do. I really do uh, want to have a garden, a raised bed would be great. But the thing is, is I just can't use power tools because A, I'm too young and my parents won't let me use power tools or B, I'm too old and, uh, and you know, arthritis or, or things like that prohibit me from using power tools. And so uh, I really would like to, but I can't. And so um, for those people, I have your solution as well as those that just want a really easy build. And so for me, most of our beds are already built, but I did pick these up uh, at a Walmart. Really super quick tip, at the end of the season, Walmart will have super discounts on all of their gardening stuff. So I won't tell you the ones that I hit up because I enjoy hitting them up uh, every year, but we were able to pick up four of these four foot by four foot uh, cedar raised beds. Now these are incredible. These are so cool. Now they are not as uh, deep as I would like. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be sticking them, uh, stacking them on top of each other and turning them into uh, basically a uh, one big uh, four foot by eight foot bed that is 10 inches high. You'll see how I do that. But essentially this design is incredible. So this is cedar, meaning they don't, you know, they don't rot. And another thing that's really awesome is the fact that uh, not only do they not rot, but they go together using the components that are already in this box. So these beds are produced by the Greens Fence Company. And I absolutely have nothing negative to say thus far. I've read the reviews, I've seen people put, the, put them together, and they are just a really cool boxed, uh, boxed raised bed. Um, you can definitely get them on Amazon. I'll see if I can find some and post a link. They're definitely going to be more expensive given the time of year and the fact that uh, that they're not obviously being discounted. Um, but in terms of their functionality and their value that they provide, definitely is one of the more affordable raised bed kits that I've that I have found. Um, so these are really exciting to for me. Um, for a lot of reasons, um, but we're going to pop these open here, see what we're getting ourselves into. Um, all right, so I do see some screws. Uh, oh, um, so these are not, these are optional. So the, they give you some screws and they give you these top posts and these actually go on top of each corner as kind of a decorative piece. So it's optional. So it, it can be tool free if you want it to be. Um, but I'm gonna save these guys. I will put those on uh, eventually. Not right now though. I just gotta get these beds built because what we're putting in them is very exciting and kind of time sensitive. So let's go and get these together here. All right, so now we're gonna just put that side in like that. And then this side slips on just like that. All right, so I'm already a quarter done here. It's only been two minutes. Um, so this is really, really going together well. I did not expect it to go together this easy. Now, the, the, the next question will be how, um, how easy it is to stack them. Because with them, um, with them only being uh, five inches high, I just, I can't, uh, definitely cannot grow in that little of soil, especially with the grass underneath. So a lot of you always ask, you know, how, how we can get away with having the grass here. And it's because, um, it's because we, uh, have our beds quite deep and this grass is just really kind of pathetic city grass. It really does not, it's not very invasive at all. Um, but as is, I mean, this is, wow, 
that was the easiest raised bed build and um, I can uh, I'm looking at the timer on, on our camera that was uh, you know obviously some of that was edited out but uh, three minutes and 30 seconds to put that together so um, that was pretty incredible so now the next thing will be uh, is stacking so let's see how well they stack and see if we can get that to happen all right so now I'm gonna put the second uh, the second bed on top so I'm gonna do the process of stacking them to see how easy it is so essentially what I've done is I've just pushed down these um, these these sidewalls here to actually be flush with the bottom and what it's done is they've actually created this system so that um, there's a little about an inch and a half of space of, of dovetail still left that I can stick that second board through. Now it is a little wobbly, but it's partially because I don't have the corner pieces on yet. So um, I'm going to stick those on and I have one more to stick on here. And now I officially have, uh, you know, I stacked them. Definitely not as sturdy as I would as I would wish, but in terms of ease of use, this is incredible. So there you go. There is the whole raised bed build, and guess what? It took under five minutes. I was absolutely blown away. This thing is, it's really, really, really structurally sound. Because once, you know, when I was looking at how, how it was um, kind of shaky when you put the, the additional board on, I didn't take into account that once you put on all four corners and then attach it to another whole bed, it really does kind of uh, hold itself together, if you will. And so this thing is not going anywhere. This is incredible. And I really do have to take my hat off uh, to the green, fen uh, yeah, the gr the greens fence company. This is just an outstanding product, and I am not getting paid, or what? I am not getting paid. I always get that, you know. Are you getting some sponsorship money? Absolutely not. But greens company, if you're out there, hit me up because I love this product. Um, you know, so for the price, cedar, ease of use outstanding the last thing that i thought i would throw in is that it does look a little bit different than i had even expected because once i put it together i realized there's a glaring feature that i had not even noticed when i when going in and that is that this is actually a modular garden modular gardens are so cool so basically once i had gotten one whole bed built and stacked it on top there was then the option because each corner post has dovetails on all sides meaning you can make an l-shaped bed you could make a, uh, a a keyhole garden by adding two more and then two more you can <laughs> you can build three up and three over you can make you can do anything you want with this. It's absolutely incredible, 100% modular, totally based around your needs, and that is just awesome. Um, and what I did find is that there was actually an even bigger bonus. So once I was done building the two beds and stacked them on top of each other, the one sidewall was actually built. So it actually saved me two, uh, two cedar boards that I use as a backstop to prevent soil from washing over. But if you didn't need that backstop there, I just chose to use that because I ran out of out of beds. So I, you know, uh, I didn't need the two extra boards laying around. So I figured I'd just have them as a backstop to prevent, prevent soil from coming in contact with our shed. Um, you don't have to do that. You can take those two extra boards, you know, buy a few more beds, and if you do this enough times, you'll build up those extra parts. In fact, we have uh, four corner, four extra corners as well, because you didn't need the four extra corners. And so you have uh, four extra corners, two extra posts, and so you multiply that enough times, you actually get free beds the more you buy, and, and depending on your, your construction, the, the more, uh, the less beds you actually have to buy to get the job done. So um, just outstanding. I'm really, really, really happy with this. And uh, I certainly um, take my cap off. 
So wonderful job, Greens Company. Uh, if you guys wanna check this out, I will have links in the description box below. Certainly something to look into. Um, also, I recommend checking out our other videos though on raised bed construction because I get that there's lots of people that like lots of different things um, and you can certainly get a much larger sized bed using just regular construction grade lumber uh, for about 25 bucks. So um, about the same price point for a little bit larger bed, but you're using power tools and things like that that might not be accessible. So check out that video as well if you do think that would be something that you'd enjoy. Um, and this is just another thing out there that uh, helps gardeners grow more food and that's why I absolutely love it. So um, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new. Make sure to click that like button. It does help us out. Share this video with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it. And also make sure to subscribe. That always helps us out for sure because it lets us know that we're reaching new people and that's always a good thing. So hopefully you all having a great day. Hopefully you all are remembering to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.